Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with part two of my most recent earring blitz. Um, the first blitz, as you know, uh, featured the earrings that we used the frames on. This blitz will continue to use some similar um, elements from that video. However, I'm introducing new beads and I'm not using the frames, so I split them up a little bit. Um, I will leave a link below to um, that video so you're aware and you can watch it. And uh, we'll, uh, some of these uh, earrings, I mean, all of these earrings are going to be fun, but they kind of are all in the same style. Um, I just use different beads, so they look a lot different. Um, I mean, several of them that I'm looking at are probably going to be very, very similar for you. So the first one I'm going to do is super simple. Actually, all of these are pretty simple because that's my my style, right? I'm just going to use an eye pin. I'm going to use a brass Monstera charm. And then again, I'm going to use um, some of the turquoise, African turquoise Jasper that I got from Pam. I'm going to leave a link to her Facebook page below. She has a ton of these things, these, so you can get some for yourself. I'm just, I just need four for this one. So I am just going to, one, I want a little bit puffier than um, the skinnier ones. This one, and maybe, let's see. Not puffy, but not like a huge one. Very particular. <laughs> so we'll go one, two, three. Oh, that one I don't like where that hole is positioned. Um, let's see. And if you want your earrings to like semi-match and you're using chips, you'll probably want to choose earrings, or I'm sorry, not earrings, but the beads uh, together, like pair them. So look through your beads, say, oh, these two look the same, these two look the same, and that'll that'll help you make a pair of earrings. So I'm just gonna do four beads on um, our eye pin. And then I'm gonna make sure that I fold it the right way. So most of the time I try to fold it the right way and then it turns out wrong. So we can finagle later. I'm just going to grab my pliers and do a simple loop. Let's, oh, Dropping everything here. I just dropped the other ring. <laughs> and then we'll do our simple loop. Okay. And um, I'm going to need to twist this a little bit we can grab the bottom loop and I need this to go front to back close I want it to straighten out a little bit there we go so we have our connector and then I will just connect my little eye pin to my charm and then I'll grab my ear wire again this is super simple I mean you, you probably know how to make this <laughs> I'm just doing cohesive um, pieces together so then we'll grab our earring go and put it on our I'm gonna do it this way put it on our ear wire just making sure that the front of the earring is facing the right way and it wasn't so there's number one isn't that pretty and then I have a finished one, and I'm just going to put that one on its own ear wire. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I need to twist it. I think. Just a little bit. There we go. Close that up. And there is our first pair. I think
think we're making like six or seven. So there's our first pair, super simple, but very elegant. So, okay, we'll move on to the second pair. I'm gonna change this up a little bit. Um, we're gonna still use, we're still gonna use the chips um, and we're gonna use the 24 gauge wire that we used in the last one. Again, I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby a million years ago. Um, oh, that's the wrong end of the wire. Let's find the right end, here it is. And I'm gonna cut pretty long piece here because um, you know I'm paranoid <laughs> about not having enough wire. Okay, and I'm just gonna load on some chips in whatever fashion, whatever order I'd like. really paying that much attention just that they're the holes aren't too far off center keep going okay so I piled on about 13 beads I'm going to uh, go up here and line up our ends and we're going to use the same technique, but in a completely different way um, that we did for that last pair of earrings that I made in the last video. And what I'm going to do is hold those two wires together, bring our beads together down here as much as I can. Actually, I'm going to go like that. Okay. Go like that. And then I'm going to twist. So I'm trying to get it to be as round as possible, but it's a little, there we go. It's getting more round as I twist. And then we're just gonna do the same thing I did with that last pair of earrings, um, but we're gonna just keep twisting the, um, the wire all the way up. So you'll probably wanna hold um, one end with your pliers. And I didn't have great success holding one end with the, pl uh, with the nylon jaw, but I'm gonna hold it like that towards the top and then um, I'm just gonna keep why I'm just gonna keep twisting okay so I've twisted it all the way up and um, you saw me use this similar or this bead in the la one of the last pairs that I made in the last video and I'm just gonna string this on to both of our I'm just gonna string this on to both of our wires pull that all the way down and we might want to kind of mm, mush it a little bit. <laughs> That's my technical term. We want to get that, that bead in there as much as we can. And you could just pull if you need to, but that's fine. And then I'm going to introduce a bead that we didn't use in the last um, video. And it's this crescent. It's an acrylic bead that I got from Chelsea's. Got a whole strand of them and we're going to be using them a lot today. Um, go ahead and slide that down. There we go. And then I'm just going to do a wire wrap loop. Again, not not rocket surgery, <laughs> and but it's it looks like a million bucks. Well, maybe not a million, but certainly like fifty. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and it's a little tight in there because of. Um, oh great, I got some tool mark on, tool marks on my my wire. It's a little tight in there because of how the crescent is shaped but we'll go ahead and turn this sideways and we'll just kind of wire wrap around the crescent in there just a few loops and I can always straighten that at the end oh you got to be careful because I'm trying to go a little too fast and I kind of un un twisted that wire but we got it to work 
take your time. Take your time. I think that's something you guys hear me say a lot. I just flung a chip bead across the room with my wire. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead. I have three wraps on there. Do one more towards the back. You just have to decide which which side you want the back to be the back because this is not like a one-sided earring, I guess. Okay, and we'll just make sure that we have our loop facing the way we want it to face. There we go. I'm just trying to tighten it up a little bit. There we go. And then we'll trim. Okay. Tuck that in a little bit because he's sticking out. You don't want that catching on your hair or your clothing. There we go. Twist that. And then we'll put it on our, eye, our uh, earring wire. And then we'll do the same to our other one. Which is a lot neater, but I think I twisted for more on this one. Just wanna make sure I put the right side facing forward. Nope, there we go. But do as I say, not as I do, take your time. <laughs> and we have a really fun, sophisticated pair of earrings here. Isn't that awesome? And I honestly, I I love that color combo of the turquoise and the maroon with the gold. And it's a fun, fun, different way to use up your chips. So there we go, earring pair number two. Um, all right, so let's look at, I don't think I'm gonna be using the chips for any of these other pairs of earrings. And we have one, two, three, four, five more. So I'm gonna clean up the chips so they don't keep spreading. Okay, so the next earring we're gonna make, um, we're actually gonna make it in two different ways at least. They're all variations of the same earring at this point, but um, I'm just gonna use different beads, which is which is fun. It's how you kind of create a collection too. This one's gonna be super easy. We're just gonna use an, a head pin and three beads, okay? Nothing fancy, but it's gonna look awesome. So, and you can use a decorative head pin too if you want something below your bead. This is um, a faux malachite bead. So it's a composite bead using um, stones to look like malachite. So, oh, stones and resin. Um, and I'm going to put that like that. Another one of those upside down, well, it's a crescent. It's not it's whether it's upside down or not. And then a wood gold bead, a gold painted wood bead. And I am just going to make a simple loop. Another two minute earring, not even a, a five minute earring. So while these are very similar, they're also fundamentally different. They have the same shapes, similar color palette, but um, the way we achieved it is completely different. So there we go. And I'm gonna grab a couple ear wires and we'll just hook that on. So there we go. And then here's our second one. And here is our third pair of earrings. Super fast, but awesome and gorgeous. And I'm gonna actually, I think, make myself a bracelet using these, these, and some of the gold beads. So, love those. Pair three in the books. Um, Let's see, this earring 
is going to be a little different. We're going to use, um, in the first video, I used some brown um, check beads. And uh, in this one, I'm going to make, um, in this one, I'm going to use a brown check heart and a turquoise check flower. I don't know if that's a flower or what, but and then we're also going to use this brass sunburst. Okay. Reminder, brass tarnishes, so, or it gets a, you know, patina on it. So if you're selling brass and it's not sealed, you want to make your, your customers aware of that and you can Google how to, to, to polish brass. Um, so we're just going to make a uh, dangle from a, a simple loop. And then I'm just going to hook that on to my sunburst. Okay. That would be just a cute earring right there, but then I'm going to put this on top. Got a curved eye pin here. And then let's see. Let's make another simple loop. And you can use jump rings to attach these if you don't want to um, attach with your simple loop. You can wire wrap, you can do whatever you want. Then we'll take the bottom of our simple loop here that was part of our eye pin to start with, and then we'll hook it on to our sunburst, starburst, whatever you want it to be. And there's our earring. Simple, but elegant. Again, that's what I'm going for with all of these. Um, it just makes me happy. It just makes me happy. I love tortoiseshell, I love turquoise, and I love brass. So I'm going to go ahead and hook that onto our earring. And then we'll do the same with our second one. And those make me happy. They all make me happy. <laughs> so there is pair, we're already on pair four. It's finished, pair four, simple but gorgeous. All right, pair five is going to um, use some elements from the, well, one element from the first video, which was this Howlite Weave. Got him right there. Um, I have another crescent, but it is a charm. Bright charm, I got that from Nina on Hole in the Wall Beads, an eye pin, another crescent so we got double crescents in this one and another um check glass flower or whatever that is and i'm pretty sure these came from the box bargains so i am going to hook our eye pin onto our charm it's kind of a thicker charm too so if it, your eye pin doesn't fit like a thicker charm just use um a jump ring or you can wire wrap uh, with regular wire you don't have to use an eye pen okay so that guy's on there and then I'm gonna put on our our leaf our crescent so it falls into the middle of our leaf and then our check glass bead so we're using a ton of different mediums too so we have metal we have stone we have acrylic and we have glass and then I'm just going to turn them so they all face the correct way, um, facing the front, because it's very important if we if we don't 
do this the right way we're gonna have to do a lot of moving around which we probably well, let me let me not, not say that because I probably will anyway but it's easier to start off this way there we go and we actually did it pretty well the first time so I'm just gonna take my loop Gonna straighten it a little bit make sure it's facing the right way and there's our earring isn't that fun it's like a totem for all of your favorite beads oh did I put it on backwards I put it on backwards yeah let's try it again yeah there we go so it's got a lot of my favorite colors or my favorite color combo and some really fun shapes and we're almost finished with earring number five okay so there's earring number five isn't that fun I like it. <laughs> um, earring number six is so simple. It's just like earring number whatever this was, earring two maybe? You know, this was earring three. It's just, I mean, I and I, I can't stress this enough. It is just like that earring, but we use different, I mean, one, a couple different beads to make it look completely different. The scale is different and uh, I'll show you what I mean. So I have these acrylic beads that I got from Reduction Nation, I think, on Etsy. And I love them. They're like a minty aqua with a gold sun on them or flower, whatever you want to call it. Again, I'm going to go right back to my crescent bead. I'm going to slip that on. Don't they look amazing with that? The two, they both, they both have that tribal look, the gold look fantastic um, a face bead that I got from Tracy on Facebook oh actually I missed one well I got a spacer it's like a potato chip stardust spacer I'm gonna kind of be like a saddle for our um, crescent bead and then our face and you can wire wrap this but I'm gonna do again a simple simple um, loop I just want to turn it to the side there we go so just like this earring but they look completely different because we used a several different beads but they're still kind of cohesive because we have the same color palette and uh, those crescent beads included so we'll go ahead and put this on oh he didn't close very well here we go And this one's actually double-sided, so it doesn't matter which way you put it on your earring wire because the face bead, the crescent, and the sun are both are all um, seam on the both sides. So I'm gonna do that with our second earring. And there is pair number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pair number six. So cute. I'm so happy I got to use a face bead. <laughs> I love them. All right. Now we're on pair number seven. And I think this is last but not least. Still easy though. Um, but, you know. There's nothing wrong with being with the earrings being easy. So uh, I'm gonna grab another one of these starbursts. I have a check glass tiger, or I'm sorry, tortoiseshell bead. I have a crescent. I have another one of these gold beads. And actually, I do need three chips for this one. So I'm gonna go with it's just 
looking for, uh, the holes are not good on that one. So I have my chips outside the screen here. I'm go with this one, this one, uh, and this one. Okay, so again, we're just gonna pile the beads on. I'm gonna put on my teardrop, then my crescent, then my three beads. And my metal. Oh, you know what? I don't like this one. It's hanging weird. It's hanging weird. Okay, simple loop. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put that on our charm and then we will go ahead and grab our, our ear wire and slip our pendant onto our ear wire. Oh, and we want to make sure that's close. Nothing can slip through. Um, be, especially since these brass are very thin. There we go. All right, there's our seventh earring. Isn't that like really like, that's an eye grabber. That's a statement earring for sure. A statement earring. And then uh, we'll go ahead. I think all of these are statement earrings now that I think about it. And we'll go ahead and do this one. And what do you think? I would really appreciate it if you guys let me know which one is your favorite. I will include photos of all of them at the end, hopefully in the order in which I made them. <laughs> but we have this one, this one. We have our more tribal one. Oh, backwards. There we go. so fun. Can you believe we made seven pairs of earrings? <laughs> what am we going to do with all these earrings, guys? <laughs> anyway, um, there's another pair. I love those little hearts. They're so sweet. Um, our Monsteras. And our face beads. Thank you, as always, so much for watching. Please let me know, you know, did you enjoy the video? Did you have fun? Um, which ones you like the best? And uh, if you're gonna try any of these, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for Goldie, she's super cute. And please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.